What's going on guys? We're here right now at the Philly Card Show. We'll show you guys in a minute, but we're, what we're doing today is a challenge. I have two boxes right here, all right? There's stuff in each of these boxes. It is between Luke and Paul. The challenge is, you guys, we have one hour. Whoever has the most valuable box at the end of the hour wins the other person's stuff. So someone's gonna walk away with two boxes worth of hopefully good stuff. So I have two boxes in here. They're gonna get to choose if they want to rip or if they wanna just try and sell to get money for it to get started. So here you go, Luke. Here you go, Paul. Open up your boxes. They don't know what's in them, I think. You can show them. Oh. So it's a, it's, a, it's a prison blaster box. They're prison around one to one, 100 to 120 dollars value-wise. So you guys can either open it up and try and get like a Herbert, and it's someone that you can use to trade up, or you can just straight up use the blaster and have the value. If you want to get a head start, you can open it and get, maybe get something good, but if you don't get anything, you're screwed. And Prism has a very reputation of not getting good stuff. So that's the plan. Are you guys gonna rip it, or are you gonna uh, sell it? I'm gonna sell it. I'm definitely gonna sell it. That's no I fun. I think I'm gonna. All right, they're taking the boring route, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow each of them. We have one hour to see who can get the most valuable box at the end. Let's go. All right, Luke, so you have to trade up that Prison Blaster for just the most value in your box by the end of this thing. What's your strap? That's right. What's um, the strap? So I think it's gonna be a little hard to move wax here. I'm gonna try and sell this a little lower, see if someone just get it right away. And then as soon as I get that cash, I'm gonna go straight for cards. I like individual that. Individual cards. Probably 100, yeah. bro. They're going for like 120. You sell, you say, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking like 100, yeah. All right, so you wanna get cash quick. Yeah, yeah. People like cash. It'll be easier to buy cards like that. I'm, I'm decent at negotiating. Yeah. Negotiating. He's in the negotiating team. So. All right, yeah. sounds good. All right, Paul, this is your first show. All right, Luke's a little more experienced at this. What's, what's the strategy? I'm gonna try and sell this for as much money worth of cards as I can. I'm trying to get the dub. It's my first time really at a card show, but I'll try my best. All right, sounds very inspirational. Let's go. All right, guys, so I think I kind of messed up. I might have overpaid here. I didn't know these comps were at like 109, 85, 85. Get out of there. 199, so, so they're, they're at a little under 100 bucks, uh, around 100. I thought it were more like here. I thought it was more like one, 120 to 150. Uh, so we might be getting a little less than I thought, but it's okay. It's part of the challenge. It's all part of the game. 75. 75. Can you do 80? Because they're selling for like 85 minimum, and they're low. Uh, we're for 75. Are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, that's fine, actually. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. So I moved it for 75. That's good. Good job. Luke. <laughs> Now you have 75 buckaroos to play with. Yes, I do. I got to think of what I'm going to do next. I'm going to stick with baseball because I know baseball the best. So I have to know, go with what I know. Paul is probably just going to pick up Celtics cards. <laughs> He's going to be like, look at all these cool Jason Tatum cards. Space yeah. cards. 75. Yeah, thank you. You too. Alright, so I got the cash. So are you gonna like try to get like a bundle of stuff or what is your game plan? What I think I'm gonna do is I saw a Ryan Howard one of one card. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go back there. Well, who are these people? It's like I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get the Ryan Howard one of one because that'll be very easy to move out of Philly Park stuff. I'm gonna try and negotiate it down. Yeah, yeah, what? Oh my gosh, that's, Ooh, that's sick. sick. You buy him retail as well? Uh, he does. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do blasters. And oh, you want to do it all? Yeah. Okay. So it's 10, so it's 10 times, it's 50,000 right there. Yeah, let me know how much uh, optic you have. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I know we got a bunch of more boxes. And I think there's that, plus I think there might be more. Alright, so we're in, the, we're in the middle of doing the blaster thing. Paul actually just sold the blaster because I just bought uh, all of this mosaic. And these fine gentlemen right here. We, uh, we just made a deal on this. It took them forever to actually get the money to go through. But we're going to be bringing all this home as well. In my negotiating class that I took, uh, you're, there, you know, you're supposed to start super low. He accepted my first offer, so I must not have been low enough. I lost a little bit on my uh, Zopa, but it's okay because we still got a great deal. 
What do you think, Paul? Made a good deal. All right, so we're back. We did put this up in the car. Luke and Paul now have you got it for ninety, and he got it for seventy-five. I got the guy to sell. I got the guy to buy Paul's thing. You got fifteen, yeah. Luke. So we had a right little now, assistance. So right now, Paul's winning because he has ninety bucks. So what they're gonna do is go buy single cards and try and get as much value as they can, and then we're gonna comp them all out at the end and see who wins. So like, to put together like maybe like one to one fifty. Worth the stuff, and say, so, "Yo, would you do, would you do ninety for all this?" And then I would and actually say, "Would you do eighty?" And then they're gonna. Uh, once again, Bobby Shins is back here signing like autographs. If you have one of those little white tickets that you got when you paid your admission, you can come back here into the autograph area and get. So now these guys are looking at the dollar boxes. They're trying to find some good stuff that they can get for less than a dollar or ten dollars stuff. They can get less for ten dollars. He's the best player of all time. Taco Paul, say something to the camera. Hello. I am determined to win this as an underdog. That's sick. 80 bucks now. I know, I'm gonna try. I wanna try and do this. Do it. These two. I might try and do it. Do it, man. I believe in you. That's about, I feel like, I feel like someone would say yes. For that. 10 for 90, yeah. Yeah, 90 for... Because, like, Taco Falls not going to have a lot of upside, so... Oh, for you? Like, just getting pink shot. Whoa, that's sick. What is that rating? 9? Yeah. Wow, that's sick, though. Come on, I'm going to look that up. That definitely will be going for much more later on. Exactly around like $23 was the highest one that sold. This, the Ryan Howard, other 101s are like around 50 bucks. So what do you want to do? So can I give you 75 for both of them? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Once again, folks, I need more of the Bobby Shantz autograph ticket. And there's Bobby. Thank you. Thank you so sir. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you
I mean, we'll see. We'll see for sure. For, si for sizzle. Yeah, well, let's see what he got. So this is what Paul got. Baker, Lamar, and a Trevor Lawrence. These are PSA 9 rookies. Not, not bad, actually. And a Trevor Lawrence, and then Luke got those other two cards. So I would say they're probably... And then Luke got these two baseball cards. Comp wise, you're probably like even right now. You're probably tied. That's what he just gave us. Eight bucks. Eight dollars. <laughs> That's all I had. Dude, he just gave us. I just took this garbage and eight dollars for a metal Iverson. <laughs> so, as you just heard, I just traded my Sixer Sanchez Immaculate RPA out of 25 for this. 90, 97, wow. 98. Shout out to sports cards. Yes, yeah. Stuff. yeah These the guys hooked yeah. us up with the um, yeah, mystery good. packs last time. Any good? Spencer Howard. We traded him to Texas. He is. He and was good, but like, good no? not in the MLB. Not in the MLB. He wasn't doing good. Coming I mean, he's to a good. show he's, soon. He's sports pretty. cards and stuff. Just pick this up. This bad boy. Oh Be on God. eBay. Email me. Contact yeah, us. <laughs> yes. Sports cards. Tony and Joe. Eat this card one more time. He's Paul. literally juggling the world. Look, it's just Paul. It's just Paul. Oh my God, he's defeated. <laughs> he knows he lost already. He's, he's just too defeated. I got AI dribbling the earth over here. Cool. <laughs> All right, now fast forward. We are in Center City, Philadelphia. Uh, that's a big blue building. That's a cop car. So what else is new? The boys are back here. It's kind of no, dark here. Put, are, put the dude. put the lights on. Dude. All right, the lighting's bad, but we're in the car right now. Uh, I think we, we we're gonna give it to Luke here. He yeah. won. Luke, why don't you show him what you got? got I know we're it's really dark, but Tops Archives 101 Ryan Howard on car <laughs> auto. It is what design is that? I think this is that's a PC piece, bro. Yeah, this is definitely a PC. So you kind of cheated, but um, not cheated. <laughs> and I also <laughs> got a 1997-98 Metal Universe Allen Iverson. BGS 8.5, not the best grade, but that's sick. That's sick card. And way. what about you? You got the same things? I got this Trevor Lawrence Don Ross rated rookie. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, the Lamar yeah, and the Baker. The Lamar and then the Baker. All right, we're gonna go look up the comps and see who the official winner is. Pretty sure it's Luke, but we'll see how much they actually are. Oh, All right, boys. So it seems out. like there is a tie between these two. So we're gonna have, gonna have to do a tiebreaker. It's the only way, sort of a tie. I mine says 110 ish, and this is 100, but we don't know for sure. So we're just the gonna thing call is it a tie. the problem is this Baker Mayfield PSA nine illusions. It's uh, with Testa Verde, whatever it is. It has not sold at all on eBay, and there was a comp for. It was a PSA 8. PSA 8 sold for $26.55. But that one was out of 50, when was 500 that? How long ago was that? That was August 2nd. Bro, I would say it's like a $50 card. I think I, I doubt the, the bigger he has. So I, I think. The, if we look at the numbers, I won, but we don't know, so we're just going to call it a tie. I would say Luke won, cool wise. I, mean, I definitely won. All right, we're going to have to do a tiebreaker. There are, it looks like it's two cop cars over there. Both of you streak. The first person to get tackled loses. 